In this video, we'll review how to determine the end behavior of polynomial functions. To begin, let's familiarize ourselves with what end behavior is. The end behavior of a polynomial basically describes what happens as we move to the extreme sides of the graph. Typically, we look at what happens as the x values get so small, they approach negative infinity. That means as we move to the extreme left-hand side of the graph. This can be written like this. As x approaches negative infinity, we want to know where does f of x go. Now as we move to the other side of the graph, that is where the x values get so big that they approach positive infinity, uh, we can write it like this. As x approaches positive infinity, where does f of x go? Now let's look at a couple examples of polynomial graphs and look at their end behavior. Take a look at these two graphs. What do you notice? The graph on the left has end behaviors that are going in different directions. The left-hand side of the graph is going down, while the right-hand side is going up. On the other function, the one on the right, we can see that both end behaviors, both on the left and the right, are both going down. This is the difference between having an even degree and an odd degree polynomial. The one that has them going in different directions is an odd degree polynomial, whereas the ones that are going in the same direction would be an even degree polynomial. To begin, let's look at problem number one, or the first one, on the one on the left. On the left-hand side, I notice that the graph is falling. So as x approaches negative infinity, meaning as we move to the left, f of x is going down and approaching negative infinity. Whereas on the right-hand side, that is where x approaches positive infinity, the graph is now rising. That means f of x is approaching positive infinity. To reread this, when it says as x goes to negative infinity, that basically means as we move left, f of x goes to negative infinity means the graph moves down. Let's take a look at the other example. In the next one, as x approaches negative infinity, meaning as we move to the left, the graph is going down. f of x is going to negative infinity. On the other side, as we move to the right, as x goes to positive infinity, f of x is still going down, meaning it is f of x is still going to negative infinity. We'll notice that both of these have f of x going to negative infinity on this problem, and again I said before this is because it's an even degree polynomial. Even degrees would be like x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, and so on. Now let's look at some examples of how we can do this without having a graph. And this is basically going to be our rules. If we have an even degree polynomial, where the um, leading coefficient is positive, meaning it's a positive x squared or positive x to the fourth, positive x to the sixth, then the end behaviors are going to go in the same direction, and they're both going to go up. It'll look something like this. Now I don't know what's in the middle, I just know that the ends are going to both go up. This means as x goes to negative infinity, f of x approaches infinity, and as x approaches positive infinity, f of x will still approach positive infinity. That is, both sides are going up. Now, if we have an even degree polynomial with a negative leading coefficient, that would be like a negative 2x squared, a negative 3x to the fourth, or a negative x to the sixth, they're both going to go in the same direction, but this time, they're both going to go down. Again, I don't know what's happening in the middle here, I just know end behavior. So in this case, as x approaches either positive or negative infinity, f of x will go to negative infinity. And that's going to look something like this. Now odd degree um, polynomials are going to be ones where they go and end behavior is going in different directions. So if we have an odd degree polynomial with a positive leading coefficient, this means for something like, for instance, x cubed. For x cubed, if I take a negative number and multiply it three times, I'll still have a negative, which tells me that the end behavior as I go left is going to go down. But if I take a positive number and multiply it three times, my result will be positive, meaning it goes up. So as x goes to positive infinity, f of x goes to infinity. But if I had an odd degree polynomial with a negative leading coefficient, that would be something like negative x cubed. That means I'm going to multiply my negative three times and then change the sign. So now I'd have negative times negative times negative, which is negative, but then change the sign means the left side is now going to go up whereas the right side will be the one to go down. They switch. So now as x goes to negative infinity, f of x is actually going to be rising towards infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, the graph now goes down, so f of x approaches negative infinity. Again, it's reversed from what was in purple. You're going to need to memorize these rules, and it's pretty simple to do. Just remember, even degree polynomials both go in the same direction. Positives are going up, negatives are going down. Odd degree polynomials go in different directions. If it's got a positive leading coefficient, 
then just remember, it's going to be as x goes to negative infinity, f of x also goes to negative infinity. It's going in the same direction. Whereas as you go to the positive x's, it's going to go to the positive y's. Again, the same direction. If you put a negative Boolean coefficient, it just changes the directions. All right, let's look at some examples here. Here we've got four problems. I'll work the first one out with you. Here we've got a linear function. The linear function is f of x equals 3x minus 5. Let's determine what kind of end behavior we have. Looking at 3x minus 5, I see that it's first degree. That means it has an odd degree. The 3 is positive, so I'm looking at an odd degree with a positive coefficient. So in this case, I know that the left side will be going down of the graph, and the right side goes up. So as x approaches negative infinity moving left, the graph is going to go down. So f of x goes to negative infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, that means as the graph moves to the right, the line's going to be rising, which means f of x will be going to positive infinity. Go ahead and pause the video and try the other three examples. When you're ready, resume the video and check your answers. I'll give you a moment. Hopefully you've had a chance now to work out these problems. So let's take a look. On number two, we have an even degree, but a negative leading coefficient. The even degree tells me they're both going the same direction. The negative leading coefficient tells me they're both going down. Both sides will be approaching negative infinity. So as x goes to negative infinity, f of x is approaching negative infinity. And as x moves towards positive infinity, f of x is still going towards negative infinity. Even degree, negative leading coefficient, they're both going towards negative infinities. On problem three, we see that it's an odd degree. We have x cubed. It's a positive leading coefficient, so they're going to go in different directions. The negative side, as we move to the left, is going to go down. The right side is going to go up. So it's going to look like this. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x goes towards negative infinity. And as x goes to positive infinity, f of x is going towards positive infinity. Again, because it's odd, they go in different directions. Positive leading coefficients tell me that the signs are going to match. The negative infinity goes to negative infinity. Positive infinity goes to positive infinity. Left side down, right side up. Now this last one looks a little bit confusing because I don't see the degree right away. But if I was to multiply this out, I really only need to think about what the leading coefficient would be of the uh, degree, meaning the biggest exponent. I know that x times x times x would make x cubed, and it has a negative 2 in front. Basically, this is going to be a negative 2x cubed. That is an odd degree, negative leading coefficient. So it's going to go in different directions, but because it's a negative 2x cubed, the left side will be going up, the right side will be going down. Because the left side is going up, as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes towards positive infinity. And as x goes to the right, meaning as x goes to positive infinity, f of x goes down or towards negative infinity. Now I've got two more problems here. These are not polynomial functions. But we can still talk about their end behavior, and these are good ones to look at, because they're going to be a little bit different than the others. The first one is an exponential function, whereas number six is a logarithmic function. To be able to do these ones, we can't look at the degree because they don't have a degree. Instead, we need to think about what their graph would look like. Now, I know that an exponential function with a base or a multiplier greater than 1 is going to be increasing, and the graph looks something like this. Looking at the end behavior, as the graph goes to the left, meaning as x approaches negative infinity, this graph is flattening out and it has an asymptote. It's approaching 0. It cannot cross over that asymptote. It cannot even hit the asymptote which means it will approach zero, but never get there. This graph cannot go to negative infinity going down because of the asymptote. So when we write the end behavior, we'll say as x goes to negative infinity, f of x is approaching zero. On the right-hand side, however, as x approaches positive infinity, meaning as we move to the right, this graph will be unbounded going up. So as x approaches positive infinity, f of x is going towards infinity. Now the log is the inverse of exponential. So the log function will look more like this. It has the vertical asymptote. So this time when we talk about end behavior moving to the left, x will, not approach, x will not approach negative infinity. Instead, we have the asymptote. As we move to the left, we're limited. We can't cross or even hit the asymptote. So this time, all we can say is, as x approaches 0, f of x is going down, meaning f of x is approaching negative infinity. Now notice, look at the... Um, First statements for both numbers 5 and 6. Notice that the 0 and the negative infinity have switched places. That's because these are inverse functions. The inputs and outputs switch, 
which means those values are switching. As x approaches positive infinity, meaning as this graph moves to the right, we're going to see that it's rising, which means this graph will continue to rise, even though it is increasing at a decreasing rate, but it continues to rise, which means it will approach positive infinity also. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that it helped you to understand how to do in behavior.